Hi everyone, Pradeep here from TGT and welcome to the iOS update video. Today Apple released iOS 12.5.3 for the older devices. So if you have an iPhone 5s, iPhone 6, 6 plus, first gen iPad Air, iPad mini 2, iPad mini 3 or the iPod touch 6th generation, you should see the update now. To find it, go to the settings, then general, then software update and you should see your update available here. For me, it's not there anymore as I have already updated my device. Now the update size for my Space Gray Apple iPhone 6 was around 247 MB. Depending on the device you have and the version number you are on, that should vary. I was on iOS 12.5.2 previously, but if you are on an older version, the update size may increase a bit. You can see the new build number is 16H41, the previous one was 16H30. Before the update, the available free space on this device was 7.4 GB out of 16 GB as you can see here and after the update, the available free space is 7.48 GB. So a little bit of storage space gain and that is normal for any update. There is no modem firmware update available here as you can see it has remained the same. Apple says this update provides important security update and is recommended to all users. The information about the security content provided by Apple says as you can see here it says for our customers protection Apple doesn't disclose discuss or confirm security issues until an investigation has occurred and patches or releases are available recent releases are listed on the Apple security update pages Apple security documents reference vulnerability by CVE ID when possible and as you can see here if we scroll down a bit it says that there are some webkit patches available the impact was processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. The description that was provided is a buffer overflow issue was addressed with improved memory handling. And there are many different kind of issues were addressed as well. As you can see here, another WebKit issue was addressed. A memory corruption issue was addressed with improved state management. An integer overflow was also addressed with improved input validation. There was an another WebKit storage issue. The impact was processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited actively. And the description is a use after free issue was addressed with improved memory management. That means these patches has been done here with this security update. Apart from that, there are nothing much to talk about. Apple doesn't add any kind of new features to such old devices. Performance wise, it's the same as the previous one and the battery life should remain same as well. Now, if you are interested about the benchmark scores, here it is for the Geekbench 5. As you can see here, we have 324 for the single core and 613 for the multi-core score. Now let's check the history. It was last time when iOS 12.5.2 was released and that time the score was 329 for single core and 605 for multi-core. So the single core score has decreased a bit but the multi-core score has increased a bit but this should not affect your device performance anyway. Also, I ran this test just after the update. So sometimes a lot of background processes run immediately after an update. Apart from that, Apple also released iOS 14.5.1 for the newer devices. I'll make a video later for that also. So do subscribe to TGT for that video also. It is really amazing that Apple is still pushing important security updates to such old devices iPhone 5s was released on 2013, iPhone 6 was released on 2014. So it has been 7 to 8 years since. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you have liked it. So do share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to TGT and do hit the like button and I will see you in my next one. Peace.